ask some of the potential stars of the tournament for their tips on how to make the most of your skills on the sand. I'm going to teach you the best way to dribble with the ball in beach soccer. With the ground being uneven, the key is to keep the ball as close to you as possible. You always keep it close to you, never far away, because in the sand it can get stuck. It's important to always be in control of the ball. That way you can flick it when passing or when trying to score a goal. But it's important for the ball to be always close to your feet for maximum control. I'm going to teach you how to lift the ball over the sand, whether standing still or moving. Sand is a very unstable surface, so we'll begin lifting the ball from a static point. Step on the ball. The main aim is to step on the ball. Why? To have it under control. Once it's under control, I can lift it to do whatever I want. That way, you have control of it in the air to pass or to shoot. Let's go through it. The ball is here. First, I step on it. Now I have it under control. Flick it up, control, and pass it. I'm going to teach you about the importance of free kicks in beach soccer. Free kicks are always important, because you can shoot from anywhere, and there's always a chance of a goal. When you're fouled, you take it yourself, and it's you against the goalkeeper. There's no wall, so it's crucial to get it right. It's a danger for teams wherever you are. As the sand is so uneven, some players like to make the sand smooth, but others like to make a pile, as I'm doing. You carefully place the ball and prepare to take your shot. You then decide the distance you want to run up to the ball and shoot. I'm going to explain how to do a bicycle kick in beach soccer. Step one, sit and practice the bicycle kick movement which consists of lifting one leg for momentum and then kicking the ball with the other foot. It should be something like this. The second step is to fall back and repeat the same movement. So, I let myself fall back. The last step would be to throw the ball up and repeat. Now, you know how to do a bicycle kick.